So how's it going guys and welcome back to another video to my channel. Today's video guys is an absolutely massive day. It's Derby Day, Luton Town will be playing Watford away at the Carriage Road. And I'm very nervous for today's game. Me and Dad are both very nervous. We haven't played them in 14 years. We both hate each other and there's definitely going to be scrap state even though it's going to be a closed off game so no fans are allowed into the stadium. Now let's get straight onto the lineups. This is the actual first time I'm seeing this team and today's team will be... Simon Slu getting goal with the back line of Craney, Bradley, Pearson and Norrington Davies. Obviously, we were aware that James Reid took a knock, so Craney's had to fill in his place. The midfield I'm quite happy with is going to be Luke Berry, Pele Rodder-Campanzu and Ryan Tunnicliffe. I definitely think Tunnicliffe deserves a start today after his amazing performance against his former team Man United in the midweek. And Luke Berry will be starting as well. And in the attack, it's going to be Elliot Lee, Harry Cornick and James Collins. And on the bench, we've got players such as Danny Hilton, George Munker, Tom Lockyer, Jordan Clark, Zengalo Wallow and Kiosa. I think Jordan Clark probably deserves a start today, but I guess he'll be good off the bench. I'm going to check Watford's lineup now. Now for Watford, it's going to be a hard game. They're playing Saar, but Deeney's not playing today, so that's something. But they've got João Pedro playing They've got their new signing in Ghana playing, who I believe they've got on loan from Man United. They've got Tom Cleverley, they've got Kafka, Cabaselli, Foster. But on the bench, there is Deeney and Glenn Murray. So they've got a decent team with Queener on the bench as well. So that is practically the lineups as well. My prediction today is going to be a 1 0 win for Luton. Last minute winner from James Collins, a very scrappy goal. It's going to be a red card today, it's going to be a bunch of yellow cards. And I think that we're going to win this game. Come you at it. But, Dad, what is your thoughts for today's game? Yeah, I think it's going to be a hard game. Obviously, um, we, we won a good run. They're, they were coming, they've not had a very good start, but I, I, I think, I, I mean, I'd love to win, but I'll be happy with a point today just to keep, keep us sort of on an even kill. But, yeah, it, it's going to be a tough game. So, yeah, well, I, I reckon one one. So, that's our thoughts on the game. Hopefully, Luton can get the win. And let's play our rivals, Watford, after 14 years. And after a long, long time, it's kicked off. We are playing Watford, our rivals. Come you at us, let's see if we can do this. Yes! yes! No! No, in the bar? In the bar. James Collins at the crossbar. And after us almost scoring, Watford have scored. Craney's just useless at right back. He gives the ball away to Sarah, I believe it is. So runs down the left, or one of their players runs down the left, puts it in the box, and Jean Pedro daps it in. That's the only thing he's done all half, so I dive, but it was coming, yeah. We've looked and played well as half. The only chance we did have, we should have scored, and that was with Collins, but it's 1 0 to Watford. There's nothing else to say, really. And guys, it's half time. Looting a 1 0 down to Watford, and it's been awful. I'm sorry if there's been a lack of clips this uh, half, but it's been all Watford, really, beside that one chance from Luton. Jean Pedro got the goal, which was defected off of Sonny Bradley, and. That's it for the first half. Dad, thoughts on this uh, first half so far? Yeah, they, they've just got a bit more quality than us, haven't they? Uh, so they're looking for him all the time, aren't they? So it's unlucky we didn't get the goal, but you know, like, I think we, what, we had two or three efforts, maybe. But it's been all Watford, isn't it? Yeah, and then they've still got Dean and Glenn Murray and a few other players to bring on off the bench. It's just not been very good so far, but we're just going to have to see how we do. I guess in the second half we've made some substitutes coming on. And guys, second half just started. It's going to be a long 45 minutes. I don't think any substitutes have been made and we just have to see how we do in this one. And there's been a substitution that has been made. Jordan Clark's come on for eight elite. Just this half, uh, how it started, we played awful. We need something, I guess, everywhere in the attack in the midfield. And Clark's hopefully going to provide that for the attack because he's played well recently for us. And hopefully he can get a goal. But Elliot Lee's just been back to his usual self, just disappearing, not doing anything. He's literally been... Awful today, haven't seen anything from him, but hopefully Clark can do something now. Probably our first chance of the half, really. Ball whipped in from, I think, Jordan Clark, but players in the box like Cornick and Collins, I think it may have even been Cornick, put the ball in, which can get anything on it, but it's been all Watford so far, hasn't it, Dad, this half? It's, and it's, 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 it's embarrassing, isn't it? It's like when we played Leeds, Dad described it, it's like when we played Leeds at home last year, uh, last season. Just can't get the ball when they get, they get some of their character and just... We, can't, we just can't handle their pace. And as much as I hate to say this about our rivals, they have played fluid football today. And you can actually see the Premier quality in their side. And it's horrible to say that, but you have to be truthful at the end of the day. It's just been a battering, complete battering. Oh, God. Another ball from the right hand side, and we tried to header it. And we did, with Collins, I believe. And it just sort of um, didn't even go on target. It sort of went wide, but I thought it was on target. Another chance, though, but still just... 65th minute in, just no urgency from Luton. Watford are just constantly pressuring us and just wanting that ball back. Oh, 
second shot of the game. Collins on the right hand side again on the right hand side. Drags it back, hits it on his effort and it just skies over. It was great play from Jordan Clark to put the ball in. But Collins has got to get out on target realistically. It's just gone over into the stands. But well, at least we're actually trying to get back into the game now. Still, we're playing poor. So guys, enough subs have been made. Collins has come off and Danny Hilton's come on. Uh, as Dad said just then, Hilton's a good player to hold up the ball. Um, but personally, I think Collins has probably been the only player in this team that's actually tried to do stuff. Collins hasn't been a brilliant player in this second Could half. I would have kept Collins on. But you have to see how we do in this um, remaining time in the game. I mean, there's only, what, 20 minutes left? So, realistically, we're running out of time. But unless Hilton can change this team and change this game, I think we've lost this one, probably more than one go if they continue uh, their goal scoring threat. It seems that the only clips you guys are seeing right now is the substitutes. The third and final one has been made, and that's Tony Cliff coming off and Loa Loa coming on. But again, we're just awful. Absolutely awful. We're just going to. Lose this game to Watford, sadly. Oh, God. Another shot, but it's literally gone probably into Rosehead. Berry had it at the edge of the box, sort of bounced to him from a ball from Craney. No, from a header, and he just hit it first time. It's just gone over, and it's the 84th minute now, and it looks like that. Luton have probably lost this 100% like there's no coming back from this it's embarrassing and I want my refund from this game I want my £10 back because this is disgraceful real disgraceful we're supposed to be playing our rivals and we can't even give them a good game and in the 88th minute Dini's come on finally for Jao Pedro he's been just hard to deal with today I think this is his first game back after injury and well, he's just going to bully us off the ball now and make matters even worse that's full time we've lost to our rivals Watford 1-0 Dad what's your thoughts on the uh, game? absolutely embarrassing him, it? Terrible, terrible. Don't know where he's going to start with that one because that was shocking, shocking. It should have been four, four nil, five nil. To be fair, I mean, what we have three, three shots, if that. Yeah, I'm just really embarrassed today. After losing to three nil to Man United in the week, we played outstanding. Like that game, the fluid football was there today. There's a few areas I need to point out just, just to end this video. Craney, he's one of the players in this team that I dislike the most. He cost us a goal, which they scored from. He's slow. It's his 34th birthday today. He's getting on now. Why is he playing in this team? Why haven't we got a backup right back for James Bray? Beside him, a few other players played awful. Barry was useless today. But Pele was rubbish, wasn't he? There's so many he players. Threw, he's ran through us. It's embarrassing. So I was brilliant for them. I mean, like, this is like this is Graham Jones stuff. Well, you would have been up for a, for a local derby, wouldn't you, surely? And it's 14 years since we played them, and we can even give them a good game. Overall, we had four shots. None of them were on target. Yeah, they had 14. 14 shots, and they had the amount of shots that we had overall was the match shots there and target. Yeah, they should have won at least four now. That's all we can really say. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed. It wasn't very fun to make this video. That's going to be the end of today's video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.